Hi friends, today I am going to show you how to download and install PostgreSQL admin and client. Here is the URL provided to download the PostgreSQL and by PostgreSQL you can manage the database and you can manage any type of data in the form of tables. This is the URL where we can able to download PostgreSQL and you can get the overview of this PostgreSQL also from the uh, Enterprise DB website. Anyhow, I am going to post this URL in beside below my video. Uh, here we need to click here to download the software and now I have already downloaded the software I'm sh I will show you the how to install and how to use it. This is software for my 64 bit version. I am just going to install. This will be available as a executable file once the download is completed. And there are many types of clients are also available to access this PostgreSQL server. This is a default, it is taking the default lo location to install. It is easy to see. If you want to change to D or E, e drive, you can change it. And the username will be a PostgreS and you have to create a password anyhow I am going to give a password as a postgres here and the default port number for postgres is 5432 if your application if you have any installed install software using the 5432 port number you can change it will take few seconds to install it is now successfully installed if you would like to install additional tools for this PostgreSQL, you just click on this tag builder and click on finish. You just need to select the software which has been installed into your system. Take some time to download the libraries for the particular version. And here are all the available. We can take PG Agent. And if you want to have any database drivers, database servers, you can have it. For web development, there is an Apache tool also there. and it's now connecting your server it will take some more time supported libraries are going to download now library successfully downloaded will finish off the PG admin is successfully down installed with the local server 5432 it will ask for a password when you're trying to connect initially we give a password as a post grease if 
you want to be a default password if you want to store it you can want to store it yeah successfully postgres has been installed and you can able to see databases if you want you can create one more test database you can create a owner here presently there is only single owner and you can create definitions you can give variables privileges everything you can give but for a few seconds it's creating a database ah, successfully database has been created and if you want to give a prop permission as a different like if he is a whoever the owner is a proposed to guess if you want to give some other owner you just you know go to login roles and create one more role it's a test if you want to give some only some privilege permissions then you can give some only this user can only create roles this can be and create objects like but if you want to give any all things you can give super user okay and if you want to change the owner for this test db just go to test and click on the right click go for properties and just move it to test now the owner of the test is database is test here you can create a, any number of schemas if your project is a we're all reading with the 15 or 16 20 modules you just can go uh, go along along creating a different schemas and you can differentiate with every module schema name is test and the owner is same again test privileges everything is there Click on okay and the schema has been created now what you want to do this is a server system but you always won't work on this server system now you just want to connect with a client and in google by searching in a postgres like postgres manager light setup we can there are many types of clients to access this is one of the best and loving software and easy accessible of software this is a by this tool we can able to access postgres server which was established within the network if it is a public access anyone can install anyone can uh, access the db It's a free trial for 30 days and one more thing is if you want to use this one as sorry if you want to use this pg admin as a uh, tool to connect to other db servers you no need to worry you just go for servers and click on add server just give the name and the ip address port services and this what is enough for connecting the other db and here if you want to connect go for database register database localhost 5432 and post greece post greece here we found this word this is very easy to understand and easy to learn and easy to work thank you thank you very much thank you for watching my video please subscribe if you like my video